So normally when we do this video, guys, we just read the headline, we copy paste and use that. However, in this situation, this headline is so long, I'm going to have to change it. So yeah, different headline in case you're wondering. But there was a lot of talk about religious beliefs. Workmates say Flinders Street accused told colleagues they needed to believe in Allah as he claims they have been aggressive before and would blow up while working. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh, is this starting to look like terrorism to other people yet? The driver accused of mowing down pedestrians in Melbourne CBD forced his religion on colleagues and would blow up in anger according to a former workmate. Afghan refugee Sadid Nouri, 32, has been charged with 18 accounts of attempted murder and one count of endangering life after he allegedly drove a white Suzuki Vitara through the pedestrian intersection of Flinders Street and Elizabeth Street on Thursday. A former colleague of Mr. North said he was always talking about his religious beliefs in the office. Kind of sounding a little fanatical there, hey? Wasn't he supposed to be on drugs? He seemed quite lucid then, didn't he? The colleague, only known as Daniel, worked with Mr. Norud in a call centre where the accused went by the name of Mark. Daniel said Mr. Norud forced his religion on other people. Mm-hmm. People would say, I believe in God, and he would say, you need to believe in Allah, Daniel said. Daniel said he was shocked to hear that Mr. Norred was allegedly behind the wheel of the car when it ploughed into the pedestrians in Melbourne Centre on Thursday. While he was shocked by the seriousness of the accusation, Daniel said he noticed aggressive tendencies in Mr. Norred. There were one or two instances where he would blow up and he'd say, I need you to calm down, you're at work now, Daniel said. I think what he means by there, because it doesn't really sort of make it clear, I'm thinking that Norred, Norred, whatever his name is, he would blow up and then the, the guy that's telling the story would say, I need you to calm down, you're at work. I think that's what actually happened. Uh, Victoria Police Prosecutor Senior Constable Amito Singh told the court Mr. Nude drove the vehicle through the intersection with the intention of killing or causing serious injury. He said 18 people were injured and three remain in critical condition in hospital. Senior Constable Singh said Mr. Norit's motive for the incident was still under investigation. Can we take a guess right about now? Religious, fanatical in his beliefs, runs over a whole bunch of white folk and tourists. Did he screw... Oh, and by the way, he was going on about Allah at the scene of the crime. Like, really? You... Yeah, it's like you're looking at it, it's right in your face and you just, you just can't see it. It's just, oh, I wonder what it was. Mr. Nuru did not apply for bail and was remanded in custody ahead of hearing on Wednesday. Mr. Nuru's mother violently lashed out at reporters as she arrived in court for her son's charge on Saturday. Footage shows the woman swinging her handbag angrily at journalists outside the court as she arrived to support her son on the dock. Um, seems violence goes in the family. The 32-year-old mother, look, at the end of the day, the mother's probably distraught because her son's put on trial for murder for 18 accounts. I would be a little unhinged too, I suppose. Can't blame her. The 32-year-old mother's kept her face hidden under her hijab as she swung wildly at onlookers and yelled at incoherently. Maybe we need to check her mental state. Emotional scenes played out in the courtroom as the woman sobbed and rocked backwards and forwards as the charges laid against her son were read out, the Herald Sun reports. She attempted to reach out to her accused and took photos of the mobile phone before being assisted back to her seat and instructed to turn off the device. Nori covered his face with his hands and looked down in for the hearing as prosecutors read out details of the incident, indicate more charges are being considered and said the motive remains under investigation. We know what the motive was. Just charge him with terrorism, will you? Okay. So, yeah, the rest of it is pretty much just going over the details that we already know. I will put a link to the existing video so you obviously can go and check them out if you haven't seen them already. Um, you probably wouldn't be able to search for them because YouTube wants to censor me. But anyway, um, but yeah, guys, uh, yeah, so who would have thought? Some guy that drove his car into a crowd of people who's a Muslim and talked about Allah was fanatical in his religious beliefs. Who would have thought that was going to happen? 
Gee, it's like we have a crystal ball. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you surprised by this? Or are you sitting there thinking, no, not really. We kind of expected this. To be honest, I'm sort of the later rather than the former. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.